This is Jeff Duncan of Armored Saint, and you're listening to The Age of Metal. Jeff, how are you? Doing good. How are you? Good. Pretty good. Well, we're here now in 2017, and um, this is a new Armored Saint live album is coming out. It's called uh, Carpet Noctum. Uh, which way you guys decide to make a live album? And I'm asking this because it's almost been 30 years since the release of Saints We Conquer. Uh, which way you guys decide to let's do a live album? Well, there were some tracks that were recorded in Germany, um, a couple different shows, and um, it really just kind of turned out as something we were going to offer when we did our Pledge Music campaign right. um, as a specialty item uh, for, for the... Uh, you know, for the campaign for Pledge Music. Right. Um, and then it was just kind of decided that, uh, you know, let's just put out another, let's just put this out as a good uh, kind of follow-up to It Hands Down. Not, a, not really a follow-up, but just kind of a bridge album. Uh, something a little extra to put out there to, um, you know, keep stay on the road and keep touring and, and that sort of thing. And also, yeah, it had been a long time since I was saying put out a live album. So, uh, you know, figured it was probably about time to do something like that. Now, Carpet Noctum was recorded at uh, back in open air. And I understand that this festival is huge, it's immense. Uh, do you guys run into any difficulties at the time to logistically put it together? I don't, no, I don't think so. I mean, uh, there was, it was actually recorded two, two shows, Lachen and um, Schaffenberg, I believe. Okay. Um, but uh, no, I mean, that's why the, the tracks, we were able to keep them, you know, I mean, because uh, they actually did turn out really good, and, and there were no real big technical difficulties for these particular recordings, and, and the band sounded particularly good on on, uh, on these shows, so the tracks were really good, and, you know, we figured, hey, why, why not why not just put it out? It's been a while. Right, definitely, it's been a while. It's been almost 30 years. Yeah. Album. And there were some older songs, too, like, you know, Aftermath, and Last Train Home and <coughs> Stricken by Fate, you know, all the Armored Saint songs that hadn't been released live ever before. So it's good to, you know, I mean, the last Saints Will Conquer had the songs it had on it, but there's been other albums done since then yeah, that, are, that are now older songs too, but, yeah. um, you know, so it's good to have those those songs out live too, so. Good, good, definitely looking forward to that. Uh, in May, uh, I, I think you guys gonna be touring in Europe. Uh, we're doing a European run in March. In March, March, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, what happened after? You guys gonna? I mean, I know that you guys just finished a tour with Queen's Right in the United States. But are you just gonna come back to the United States? What's the plan after that? Europe? Yeah, we're doing like uh, five shows, I think, in, in Europe, and then we come back, and then in May, with May, we are actually going out. For a few shows in the Midwest and the States. What about the summer? How the summer looks like for our saying? Well, I don't know yet. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm sure we'll do so. I'm sure we'll do something, but I don't have anything. You know, I don't know of anything yet as far as confirmed or anything like that. But I'm sure we'll be doing something. Right now, and I understand that you have another band. It's called DC Four. Yes. What is the update on that? What is that? on the event? How is that? Well, we um we had some downtime. Because uh, I had relocated to uh, to Las Vegas uh, a few years ago, which we were talking about, right. um, and so I needed to get settled in there, and uh, and we just got busy. I got busy with Armored Satan. My brother Sean was playing drums. Uh, doing, he did some. He was playing drums with Blue Boys for a little while. He's not anymore, but he was doing that. And Rowan, our guitar player, Rowan Robertson, he was doing a show in Vegas called Regular Rock Ball. So we all got really busy doing other things. But uh, now, uh, we actually just signed a deal uh, with a great label out of Baltimore uh, called High Vol Music. Um, and so we start recording our new album in April. Any, any ideas of what this album about? What is the idea uh, behind it? Uh, the DC4 album? Yes. Uh, well, you know, it's just what we've always done. Just, just you know, hard, hard rock. Okay. Uh, you know, Good, good hard rock and roll music. Um, I mean, I don't think we're gonna make a concept album or anything. But so you know, the album's been written for for a couple of years. It's just a matter of when we're gonna go in and have the time to go do it. So now it's kind of coming together and, 
and now that we signed a, a deal, we kind of have to go. We, we have to go record it. So, right. uh, I'm excited about it, though. You know, it should be. Well, closing up, yet, do you have any words for the fans of I were saying out there that we're looking forward to the or they are looking forward to the coming out to live album? Well, you know, I just like to say, you know, thank you so much to the Iowa State fans because Iowa State has taken a lot of, uh, you know, long hiatuses, you know, um, over its history. But um, every time we come back, the fans are still there. We're very fortunate that we have such a loyal fan base, and uh, you know, we wouldn't we wouldn't be there, we wouldn't be here if if the people didn't have if our fans didn't have the patience and and the love, you know, that they have for the band. So. You know, I just would want to say that I'm just so grateful for the Almond Saint fans, and and, uh, and you know, we, we love you too. Trust me, very much. <laughs> well, Jeff, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Looking forward for the album. Looking forward to see Almond Saint uh, live in a hopefully in a next North American run. Yeah, yeah. Well, we look forward to seeing you there.